over here is the beginnings of an experiment I'm doing. This is going to have a hive on top of it. Um, I'm not sure what the interface is going to be yet, but the idea is to for it to be an experimental um, eco floor, which is the, the term that we seem to be using now. Uh, it's already got uh, a load of uh, detritus in the bottom. There's sawdust, there's wood chips, there's, bit, there's leaf mold, there's all sorts of stuff that you would just find lying around here anyway, pretty much. And the idea is that um, this will form the floor when it's when it's up to the uh, up to the rim here when it will form the floor of the hive and one of the things I want to experiment with this year is fungi and I'm already growing some um, oyster mushrooms which I'm hoping to cultivate uh, actually inside and possibly around the outside of uh, of this hive here because Oyster mushrooms actually give off, actually produce oxalic acid in the course of their growing. Now oxalic acid of course is widely used now as a treatment for varroa mites. So it seemed to me that if I could encourage the, uh, the oxalic acid coming from a natural source within the hive itself or, or close to the hive, then that is perhaps going to be advantageous to the bees because they can use that use it as and when they choose um, as opposed to as and when we choose so my, my thinking here is that um, perhaps the bees will learn to be able to take what they need from this floor material uh, in order to develop their own defenses against uh, pests and diseases especially of course the the, the varroa mite but also there may be an effect against um, bacterial and viral disease. I don't know, it's very experimental at the moment. It's too early to say anything very much about it other than that. But uh, I shall make more videos about this uh, as, as, as I go and see how it gets on.